lecture we will learn about a graph rep representation using adjacency list in C++ okay so first of all just for a quick review what is a graph so a graph consists of some vertices okay so it has a few vertices a set of vertices and then it has a set of edges connecting those vertices okay so something like this and your vertices can be numbered one two three four and five and your edges can have weights okay so for example this can have a weight of six the seven this one having eight this one having two this one might be having four okay so these are the weights of your edges and graphs are used to represent a lot of different objects in natural life human life for example you can represent airports in your country okay the major cities using your graph where your cities are the vertices and the edges represent that they are connected and what is the cost of flying between them okay so this is a brief overview of graph but our main concern here is we want to represent graph using adjacency list okay so first of all again so if we want to represent a graph using adjacency list the things we should know is what is it adjacency list and then how we will represent it in c++ okay so adjacency list is basically so let's first see adjacency matrix which is one of the most simplest representation of a graph okay so let's try to see that thing so what happens is let us see that we have here four nodes of a graph one two three and four okay let's add one five now what happens is that in fact for simplicity we will have four nodes itself and let's see now what happens is that we have some connected vertices okay so this is how they are connected and so now what happens is one and two are connected node three and two are connected so how can we represent them using adjacency matrix okay so how can we represent so the thing is we will have if there are n nodes in your graph we will have a n cross n matrix okay so your matrix you can represent by a two dimensional array in your c++ okay so what you do is that we can represent it as a four cross four matrix where we will have a one if there is a vertices okay so we will represent this matrix with v okay let's say this is a matrix a is the adjacency matrix and a i j is equal to one if node i is connected to j is equal to zero if i is not connected to zero so this is very simple example and let's try to now fill the matrix okay so this two dimensional adjacency matrix one so we will con consider one is connected to one of course because we are on the same node so all the diagonal nodes should be one one is connected to two so there should be a one there one comma three it's connected one comma four not connected so zero two is connected to one because one is connected to two it's a non-directed graph so one two comma one is one two comma two is of course one it's connected two comma three is one two comma four is zero then we have three comma one is one three comma two is connected so one three comma four is also one four is now not connected to one four is not connected to two four is connected to three so this is the adjacency matrix now what happens is the thing is this is known as a undirected graph 
undirected graph where you don't need any type of representation of direction so 1 to 2 is the same as 2 to 1 okay but sometimes it might be different so first of all let's try to see weighted edges so if we are representing 1 2 3 and 4 or let's say some cities and they are connected so distance between 1 and 2 might be more than 2 and 3 so we will put some weights on your graph so 1 to 2 this length of this road is let's say 10 kilometers this is 5 this is 2 this is 7 now in so what we will do is we will put the weights here in aij is equal to weight of the edge weight of that edge so instead of 1 you put the weight of that particular edge it is 0 it means it's not connected or in fact you can put an infinity also if you want so what happens here is let's make some corrections so which color should i do so 1 comma 1 is connected so let's say infinity if it is not connected so we will put an infinity here so what happens now if not connected then we have infinity as the weight so 1 comma 1 is connected so it means the distance is 0 we will have 0 here 1 comma 2 now it's 10 1 comma 3 is now 2 and 1 comma 4 is infinite it's not connected then 2 comma 1 is 10 2 comma 2 is 0 because it's the same node 2 comma 3 is now 5 and 2 comma 4 is infinity because it's not connected similarly 3 so 3 to 1 is 2 3 to 2 is 5 3 to 3 is 0 and 3 to 4 is now 7 so for 4 node 4 4 to 1 is infinity 4 to 2 is infinity and 4 to 3 is 7 okay 4 to 4 of course it's 0 so this is the adjacency matrix for a weighted graph now what happens is the last thing is that of a directed graph so in a directed graph what might happen is that you will have directions for the edges so this can be a reason if you are taking flights from city 1 to 2 going from 1 to 2 might be cheaper and 2 to 1 might be costlier okay so something like that so we will represent so these are now the directions i'm giving and let's say we are making other directions using purple color so let's say this is direction also there and we have this direction so we have the other directions also and let's put some so weight uh, assigned here now 2 6 4 and 5 okay so we, if we assign like this so now our things a bit they will change 1 to 2 it's 1 to 1 it will be 0 1 to 2 it's 10 it's fine 1 to 3 it will be 2 and 1 to 4 it's infinity so this row is correct now let's see the changes here so red color is better 2 to 1 is now not 10 because this is in direction from 1 to 2 2 to 1 it is 2 so we will again have a change 2 to 1 is 2 2 to 2 is 0 2 to 3 3 let's see 2 to 3 is now 5 this was fine 2 to 4 is still infinity then 3 to 1 is now 4 and 3 to 2 is 6 so this is a change 3 to 3 is 0 3 to 4 is 7 so this is also fine now the final 4 to 1 is infinity 4 to 2 is infinity 4 to 3 now it's 5 the this way around so this direction it's 5 4 to 4 it's 0 so this is for the directed graph so now you know how to represent this if there is n n nodes are there you can just define by let's say if all weights are integers so int adjacency matrix you can define n n so this is a two dimensional matrix and now you can put on weight so like 4 cross 4 so it will be int adjacency matrix 
4 cross 4 then we can and you can initialize it all to zeros then we can have adjacency matrix for example this one this is so what will happen this is the second row zeroth row first row second row so 2 and this is the first column 0 1 so 2 comma 1 is equal to 6 so you have to fill like this so this basically tells you about adjacency matrix okay so finally what we want is adjacency mat list that we will see so this is about adj adjacency matrix and how we represent graphs using adjacency matrix so i hope you understand this thanks a lot